Kitty. Today we're talking about the Sioux Line, which is a game about trains and stock. It's a bit unusual, a bit different than other train games that I've done. And so I'm going to tell you in this video about the game so you can see if it's a game that you want to purchase. Because it is a little weird, guys. So, uh, the game starts with an auction round in which the initial shares of each of the public companies, as well as the ownership of private companies, is auctioned off one after the other. There are eight things to auction off in a row. The order in which they're auctioned off is random. It's the only random element in the game. And it's also going to determine the number of goods cubes that each of the privates start with, which is going to impact their value. Now, the auction is a once-around auction, so uh, each player makes one bid, and you have to bid higher than the person who bid before you. After everyone has bid, the person who started the bidding can steal the share from the high bid by matching it. Um, and that is how the, the bidding works. Now, when you are bidding on a public company, like the CNW here, the DSSA, uh, or the SU, it's going to be paid into the treasury for that company, and it's going to determine the company's starting value. The bank is also going to match that amount, so you'll get a little bit of cash there. Um, the private companies, the, the winning bid is paid into the treasury for the CNW. So this is uh, a game where each of these railroads have kind of a different feel to them. So the thing with the CNW, let's go over here to uh, where the CNW is with their red track. Uh, they don't have as many track cubes to place, but they start with some already built. And they start with a lot of money because of those five private companies paying into their treasury. Uh, the DSSA, the yellow railroad, starts with a lot more cubes uh, than the other railroads. So they can have more building opportunities. They also start with some track uh, over here that's reserved for them. So once they build here, they get this track uh, for free going into Ironwood. Now, the third company is the Sioux Line. They're all the way over here on this other side of the map. And they don't have a whole lot of things uh, to build to. They don't look super profitable, but they start with nine shares available for purchase. So over the course of the game, they're gonna get more money coming in more consistently than the other railroads. So how this game works is that there are stock rounds and operating rounds. Uh, stock rounds are pretty simple. On your turn, you get to buy a share or pass. You get one turn in a stock round. If you're the first person to pass in a stock round, you get the priority deal card. If no one passes, then it just passes clockwise. At the end of the game, if you have the priority deal card, it's worth uh, the value of the uh, share of the lowest uh, stock value company. So uh, it gives you a little bit extra money having the priority deal card at the end of the game. Um, now operating rounds, how they work is that first the private companies pay out, so they pay out the amount that's on the card. So like the uh, Adventure Mine pays out $8 each round. And then each of the companies operate in order, the Sioux Line, the CNW, the DSSA. Uh, and when you operate, the first thing you do is you deliver. So let's, let's pretend that we already had uh, some cubes built here. Boop, 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 boop. And so the DSSA is connected, the Jackson line, so they can do a delivery by uh, going from here to a destination. Hex is one with the red outline. When they make a delivery, uh, their stock value is going to go up. The Jackson line is going to pay out to its owner again. And the same amount is going to be paid to the treasury of the company making the delivery. The cube is going to go over on this bonus track. Now, when a company runs out of cubes, uh, they then close, and when they close, uh, the it's not going to pay out anymore, but they're going to get this extra amount that's indicated on the bonus track. When the bonus track fills up, that's one of the ways the game's going to end. Um, so that's making deliveries. You then get to build track, and that's pretty simple, what you expect from a cube rails game. It costs 20 bucks to build into a mountain hex and 10 bucks anywhere else, and there is a limit of one cube per hex except for the city hexes. Now, like a lot of my games, there is track leasing in this. So let's say uh, we're, over, we're over here and we're in Escanaba and we want to build over to Iron Mountain with the Red Railroad. Well, we can go here. Uh, we also can then lease this track from the Yellow Railroad in order to build there. So we pay half the cost of, of the, build, the build cost from the CNW to the DSSA Treasury and then put the cube there. That's building. Um, 
once you're done building, you pay dividends or you withhold. And dividends is uh, equal to the, per share is equal to the value on the railroad income track that's uh, up here. So that goes up as you build into new cities, and each share gets that. If you withhold, you get 10 times that amount placed into the treasury. And if you can't build anything on your turn or choose not to, you have to withhold. Um, so that gives you more money into the company. The bad thing is that your stock value will then decrease. In fact, it will decrease one space for each share that's in player hands. So if you've sold three of the five shares and you withhold, then it goes down three spaces. If you're the Sioux line and you've sold all nine, it's going to go down nine spaces. So it can be pretty catastrophic uh, if you're not paying attention. So uh, pay attention. So that, in a nutshell, is the Sioux line. Uh, there are three companies. It plays three to five players, and only the president makes decisions for each company. So some players in a four or five player game have to do, do well with their investments and maybe try to steal possession, uh, presidency of a company from uh, another player. And uh, most money wins at the end of the game, and that is the zoo line. Kitty.